Okay, today's problem are these corner rounds here. Uh, they're 0.125 radius, and so I get chatter from the quarter inch end mills that go into this corner. Now, I can tell you, having uh, gone through editing this part ahead of time, that this series of corner rounds here and this protrusion will interfere with editing this. And this is not a feature over in the Pathfinder because this originally came from the sketch that created the cutout. And so I don't have a set of corner rounds for this. Uh, then I added a draft angle to it later and that's how this slope was derived. So in essence, in a short period of time when I start to work on them, I'm going to have to pick each of these faces one by one. Now, how do I get to the point where I can work on that? Uh, with direct editing, I can reapply and remove things quickly. So if there's a feature that's in the way, I just simply make it go away to get to what it is that I want to work on, and then I can reapply them. I happen to know that feature 43, uh, since this was created in Solid Edge, is this series of corner rounds. Right click, cut, feature is removed. Now if this would have been an imported part, uh, I can do the very exact same thing. And I may have to pick each one of those faces one by one, but I can delete them and remove them. And that's assuming that it wasn't recognized as its own feature when it was imported. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. In any case though, I can edit them and make them go away. Now, this part was created with a 0.10 protrusion beyond the bottom of the part. And the reason for that is twofold. There is a straight wall that's required to help the dough to feed right. And then also there's a wire that wipes across the bottom of this that cuts the dough off. And I don't need a sharp edge there to snag on the wire. However, this interferes with working on these corner rounds. So, the way I take care of this problem, click on this face. And Solid Edge is going to automatically recognize all four of the tops of these parts. Click on it, drag it down in the direction that I want to go, type in point .10, which is what I want to remove, enter, enter again, and I now have the protrusion at the bottom of the part removed. Now as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have to go in here and individually select these corner rounds. So I will begin to do so. Now, if you'll notice, it went from the first corner round selection to the second one. There's two ways to prevent this. Go up to select, add mode, or click out in the open field with your left mouse button, drag, and you get the radial menu. Same thing is on there. Uh, clicking on the green plus allows you to add faces. So I'm going to go through here and add faces. I am not a space mouse whiz, so bear with me while I pick them with my mouse. Okay, they're all selected. Click on the dimension. Uh, 0.13 will give me adequate clearance around this. So I'm going to type in 0.13, enter, enter again. Part is now accepted and edited. always have to hit escape to close out the other command in case you forget. In any case, here we go again. 
uh, the reverse is going to happen now except at this point in time I want to lift this surface straight up I don't want to just remove something uh, I want this to be lifted straight up and I don't want the draft angles to follow this so I have to come up here and I have to pick lift lift will allow this surface to be protruded straight up and not worry about draft angles again we go back up 0 0.10 enter enter and we now have our protrusion restored to the base of the part. I want to put the corner round back in there. I press escape. Corner round, chain, because each of these represents a chain. Obviously, 0.375 is a little large, so we're going to put a 0.10. doesn't have to be big here it just has to exist and the purpose for this is to allow the dough to flow through just a little better and sometimes if there's particulates in there it tends to break up things like nuts and chocolate so you want to keep some of these surfaces rather smooth enter and we have now edited this part for machining thank you for your time